Hi everybody, this is just going to be a quick tutorial, kind of parallel to the one I did for Rhino, that shows you how to uh, trim the site down if you don't want to use this entire context once you uh, are producing your uh, master plan model. Uh, in SketchUp, we could do a similar process in Rhino with drawing a, a box or some rectangles and then using a splitted intersection and then trimming things out manually. Fortunately, in SketchUp, there's actually a, a nice plugin that allows us to do this in a fraction of the time, and it works really cleanly. And it has a lot of other applications as well. And what it does is it leverages the power of the section tool in SketchUp, which is right down here. So to do this, now I'm, I'm going to turn off the 3D buildings, but this process works. You could leave them on. It will just slice through the buildings as well. It basically uses a section cut to trim off whatever's outside of that section. Uh, but I'll turn this off just so we can focus on the... Uh, on the terrain itself. So the first step is simply to draw a section. Click on the section tool. I'm going to snap on this end, select it. I'm going to use the move tool and I'm just going to move that over until it's in place. So if I want this to trim in about there, I do that. Then I'm going to go back to my selection tool, right click on that section and simply choose slice at model section. That's the plugin that's installed. We should have it in the labs. If, you, if we don't, you can drop it in your own um, plugins folder under your app data for your user ID. And I'll post this as well so you can have access to that if it's not installed. It's a free plugin and uh, it works great. So I just, uh, the key thing with this is right now, you want to make sure that the arrows of the section are pointing to the part that you want to keep. Anything that's not visible right now will be cut out of this and it's destructive. You can't bring it back, it just deletes it out of the model. So again, right click, slice model at selection. <clears throat> and then if I come back in here, I'll give it a chance to uh, let it finish the selection first, It'll get done here. Once it's done cutting through there, I can just delete the section and you'll see it's gone. So I can spin around here, put another section in from the other end, select it, use the move tool, move that into place, right click, Slice it model, let it work on it a little bit. Once I can deselect it, it's done. Right click or just select it, hit delete. And this is still, these objects are still grouped. So I can, I want to go in here, maybe what I'll do since they're all separate groups, I'm going to select all of them, make them a group open this up, select all again, and explode them. So what I'm just doing is getting this geometry inside a group so I can use the line tool to simply draw from here to here and close that in. And I can use the paint bucket to pick up my color and fill that in. Same here, go back to the line tool, just make a connection between that corner and that corner. Go back to the paint bucket, fill it in, and that's all there is to it. So using that uh, that plugin makes uh, quick work of doing this, and I can do it on any edge, obviously. I just need to pick a plane. Now, this side, you can see it's a little um, varied because of the way the surfaces are created. So if I was going to create a section there, you might do it on this where you get that plane that you want, then select that, you know, move it over to here if you're going to trim that, and then just select that right click and say reverse. So now it's cutting the piece off that I want, I can move that over. So you might have to use the opposite side now and then in order to get that perpendicular surface that you want from the horizontal plane. So anyway, that's a quick way to trim the site down in SketchUp just by using the section tool and the plugin allows you to delete whatever's not showing in the section.